Hello, I'm the guitarist Craig Ogden and I've been coming to Colin's studio music now for, oh, I hate to, uh, hate to think, since the mid-90s certainly. I came here at first with a wonderful cellist called Sebastian Comberti who plays uh, with the London Mozart players. He had been working with a British guitarist called Nicola Hall and Nicola had had an injury or couldn't play for some reason so I stepped in and I've been coming here ever since. I've been as a soloist many times with my wife, the singer Claire Bradshaw, with the London Tango Quintet, with Milos Molovojevic, the accordion player, with my lovely late friend Alison Stevens, the mandolinist, David Juritz, Paul Barrett, wonderful uh, series of people I've been here with. The key point being that Colin is kind enough to continue asking many of the same people to play here time and again. And so we establish a relationship with the audience, we all we recognize the faces, we chat before and after. The setting for the concerts is incredibly intimate. We're in Colin's uh, studio and people are all dotted around. If I've written something uh, I shouldn't have written on my music, it can often be seen by the person behind me. It's that intimate, the performance setting. And it's really wonderful and unique and it's all driven by Colin's own joy of music and his support for it has been absolutely extraordinary. Under all sorts of different circumstances, he has made concerts happen. So the thing that drives this whole series is Colin's joy in having live music in this space. And the musicians love him, the audience members love him, and he's a wonderful, kind man, and his desire to make concerts happen it just has such a practical edge to it he asks people he'll ask anyone anything and it's up to them whether they say yes or not but musicians love to play and so or myself and all the people i've worked with have just loved coming out here to brighton sea over the years it's always a complete joy hi well i'm colin kirby green and i lived in brightening sea and i've lived here since 1980 I, I went to a concert out in, just a, um, further down in Essex um, and I spoke, I just went up to the musicians afterwards and spoke and, uh, to the cellist um, and he was Sebastian Comberti and uh, they're very happy to be approached and um, then he told me about this young Australian who had just finished I think he was at the Royal, the Royal College of Music. Um, yes, that's right, he was. And uh, um, he was there and had just qualified and was staying in England. So, uh, you know, I, I got hold of him through the college because they, they usually have uh, contact numbers for alumni who've just passed through. And, um, you know, he came. And he has been every year since we started. And that was 29 years ago. Actually, it's 30 years now. And then, as far as the business with Craig is concerned, that's just gone on from year to year, every year since we started. And he's been a great favourite. And it was no wonder we, we got the two audiences that we did for him to come today. audience is so starved of, of classical music that, um, you know, anything we can do is, uh, is wonderful. This instrument is by a maker based in Kirby Lonsdale in Cumbria called David Pelter. And one of my students at the Royal Northern College of Music in Manchester had a Pelter guitar, so I knew his name. And in lockdown, David it's, was experimenting with different uh, structures internally in the guitar and he got in touch with me to say that he had uh, sort of been really impressed by the bass response on the instrument and he wanted me to have a little look at it which I was very delighted to do. Lockdown meant that that was problematic in terms of meeting and getting the instrument and eventually he sent one to me and I was extremely impressed with how it sounded. I played it, really enjoyed playing it 
I used it in a live stream I did. And then eventually we were able to get together to compare the instrument I was playing with two more he'd built subsequently. And we played those fragments of pieces in quick succession and then decided on one of the new instruments that I would hang on to for a while and play and enjoy. And this is this uh, instrument, the cedar topped guitar. And it's uh, like the others. And this, this uh, structure is called a stepped lattice that David is experimenting with. And what he was really surprised by at first was the incredible bass it has. And it's such a rich and lively sound. And, and we talked about uh, the, the treble side of the guitar as well and how, that, how well that matches and ways the instrument might be developed. And so really, for him and I, it's a, a collaborative process as he continues to work on this, this new way of making guitars. <laughs> 